You need to know how to use the core removal tool. I'm going to show you how to use this to remove the Schrader core, and I'm going to show you how I hook the hose from this tool to the vacuum pump. Then we're going to use that vacuum pump. So the core removal tool has got a fitting right here that's 5 16 which we're not going to be using. Typically, you'll see this type of fitting used on many split uh, service valves. We're going to be using the quarter inch because this is quarter inch right here. This is a liquid line service valve. So before we hook it up, we're going to pull this back. That way we can turn it, the ball valve off. Now we're going to hook up the connection here. You see that's hooked up now. Now to remove the Schrader core, we're going to take and make sure this back piece is tight. And then we're going to turn this ball valve in the on position. Then we're going to force this in and then turn it. You'll feel that Schrader core. If it's got pressure, then it's going to want to push this outward. Uh, once you get the Schrader core out and this is pulled back, then you'll be able to uh, disconnect the fitting on the very back. Now, I didn't get the Schrader core, so I need to reconnect this. You never want to have this off and turn this ball valve in the on position, especially if it's under a vacuum. So we're gonna turn this back on, push it back in, and we're gonna turn it slowly so we can, oh, there it goes. Now, turn this off, disconnect, the back piece and there's our Schrader core all right once your Schrader core is removed you're going to take and connect this quarter inch right here and then you can see the other side this 3 8 and when you get ready to start the vacuum pump we're going to turn this shut off or this check valve on and then here's our power button right here and then on the other side some vacuum pumps don't have a ballast, some do. Here's our ballast. We're gonna open this up, and then when we get down to 3,000 microns, we will close it. All right, when you're ready and your vacuum is done, you can actually take and disconnect your hose here, and then always make sure that you reconnect this piece on the back See that? Make sure everything's tight. Turn it back on. Push it in. Nice and tight. And now turn this back off. And then we should be able to remove our valve core removal tool. And that's how you hook up the valve core removal tool.